Virgo, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekly love reading. Before we start, there is a member. If you, I'm pretty sure you guys are already tired of seeing hearing this message. It's a membership page. It's a dollar a month, and you, if you wish to avail, there is a 50% discount on readings. Okay, so that's for you guys, for Virgos, and also thank you very much to the Virgos who have donated. Just continued support for the GoFundMe for the Oracle. Um, I appreciate everyone. All right, guys. Now this message for this week, okay, is how to manifest love. We're dealing with an energy. So let's see it from how uh, how energy workers do it. Okay, but I'm not saying it's like you know you guys um, you know have a certain tendency to be perfectionist. And as far as like spirituality, there is no perfection in spirituality because you don't strive to be perfect. You are a constant work, and you're talking about years, not years. You're talking about lifetime. You're talking about death, rebirth, death, re rebirth until you you basically don't become perfect. It's a constant work. Okay, but as a whole, you are perfect. It's the work that needs to be constantly developed. All right, so Virgo, so I do hope that sheds some light with regards to how, you know, because, you know, I know, we know, it can be critical that sometimes, you know, out of the zodiacs, you guys are the perfectionists. It's either do it right or don't even do it, all right? But that can be applied in spirituality. It takes application and it's not practice. It's about um, um, application through okay no uh expectation because you expect to be perfect you don't need to have that expectation it's the application done period no expectation no results all okay? right doesn't mean you will meditate and you will be centered no you meditate because you meditate that you, I, I hope you guys understand that part all okay? right it's not that you gain something it's the process of doing it okay so let's see what we have for the Virgos for this week. How to manifest love. Oh, that's so nice. Emperor. Can be a fire sign. Okay. But this is application. It's about doing. It's about understanding, you know, um, basically mastering all elements. You know, mastering... I know you guys are probably would get mad because it's mastering through perfection. Okay. But it's with understanding and acceptance on how things work. Okay. But it's about executing as well. Um, Four of Cups, this card is a star card. This is, you know, um, um, it's showing here um, contemplative energy, meditating, understanding the situation, okay, that things, okay, Four of Wands over here, um, things do go, um, you know, a certain cycle of completion. It's about working hand in hand with someone, not just you. I'm pretty sure you do get tired of a relationship or working in a relationship because you always feel that it's always you, 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 right? But it's not about that do you even share the energy with the other person or you feel that the relationship is just really about you because you manifest you're so busy nine of wands is showing here yep this is a busy card over here work 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 and you feel that you're the one who's doing all the work but if you have the strength yes um wheel of fortune see um in synchronicity over here it is about a cycle understand that sometimes you can be the best sometimes you cannot be the best okay even in a relationship it applies there are good and bads in a relationship so don't give up on a relationship because there's bad Okay, three of wands can be a fire sign that you're waiting for to come back. Okay, the wheel of fortune does turn. Okay, depending on how you play it. So if you play it, you're overworked, and this is showing here that this is overworked. Then what is left for energy for love for you? Not even for the other person. For you, if you're obsessing about perfection, then what do you, you know? It shows you know you don't have care for who is in you. All right, you also have your five of wands. This is a struggle that is has been going on. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, you are so focused on, on I'm not sure, this is, <laughs> yes, this is perfection over here, focus, you, you are, you know, you're very focused, yes, which is good, okay, Princess of Wands over here showing, okay, that through, okay, through this, you know, free energy, okay, this person doesn't care, okay, doesn't care of what will happen, that living in the moment, okay, manifests, you know, that energy. Queen of Cups is showing you can be a water sign is showing, you know, a complete connection with you. But they rely on emotion, not through just, you know, calculation, specific things that you want, okay, that you have been planning. It's not through that. It's living in the moment, Virgos. The hangman over here, it's like living in the moment. You know, take some chill pill over here, let it go, let it slide, okay. And you have here Seven of Cups, okay. So, um, from what I'm seeing here, let me see one more. 
Okay? And Five of Pentacles. True, okay. Um, you, you overthink a situation sometimes, okay, and that doesn't help. <laughs> and if you if you stop doing that, you will get this. If you see this card, this is Nine of Cups, happiness comes your way. And can be water sign who's bringing you this happiness. Um, the strength card, I mean, there's a Nine of Wands over here. You have the strength to do all this, okay? And the Emperor is what's crowning over here. So, yes, you can, you know, yes, you can control the inner self within you who always is overworked for, and you forget caring for your own self, okay? So, I do hope you have some, you know, some extra care for yourself, Virgos. Alright guys, so I will see you again. Bye!